Anthony, main race on Saturdays, the expressway. You saddled up past Strike the Stars, won the gloaming in the spring fifth and the spring champion. How's he come back? Yeah, really pleased. I mean, that was all off his first racing preparation. Uh, and so to sort of get that far was pretty pleasing. Uh, you know, we thought he was unlucky in the champion stakes, probably got too far out of his ground that day. Um, the uh, And the former Andy sort of stood up with thanks to, you know, finishing next to him and coming out and winning the derby. So, you know, he's got the right sort of form for a race like this. Um, you know, there's going to be good speed in the race and you know, he'll be you know, hitting the line pretty hard over the final furlong. Is he an AJC Derby horse this time around, do you think? Yeah, I do, yep. Uh, Red Eye Special and Dealer Principal are nominated for the two 1500 metre handicaps mm -hmm. on Saturday. Uh, both stays, res well, Red Eye Special anyway, mm -hmm. stay resuming. Yeah, uh, Red Eye's come back really well, been pleased with his work and his trials. Uh, and he's on his way towards the Sydney Cup. Uh, and looks like he's going to have a good preparation. He had a, you know, uh, a fairly long uh, racing preparation last time. We sort of picked him up at the end of it. He was brought out of uh, out of work in New Zealand, uh, and he really stood up very, uh, very well. Sort of going from, you know, benchmark races up to group racing, uh, and in very quick time. So a nice horse, good stayer in the making. Uh, Dealer has been a bit of a challenge, and he's had his you know, share of issues, has been, uh, as has been well documented. But uh, he's back in good shape. He worked along nicely this week, and you know I'll have a think about whether I actually run him or not. I'll have a look at the, the fields, but uh, there's a chance that he may wait for another week. You've given him a bit of a break since his last run, uh, yeah. just to freshen him up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the um, you know, he ran around a couple of unsuitable races, and uh, you know we've sent him off to the water walker just to freshen him up a bit. And he's back from that, and uh, he's in good shape now. Fonda leader runs in the 1400 benchmark 79. Uh, speaking to Blake Shin earlier, who gave this horse a big rap. Yeah, the, the horse has done really well since a, an excellent first up run. Uh, you know, he's in a similar sort of race, and you know he's going to be hard to beat again. In the two-year-old 1100 metre races, you've got two nominated: uh, Arisen and Delagos. What can you tell us about these horses? Uh, very pleased with both of them. Both have uh, you know put in good effort to their earlier runs. Um, Delagos first up the other day was three deep, faced the breeze, and sort of kept making ground all the way to the line. So. Bit of looking forward to him at least drawing well, uh, but he's taking a good step off that run, uh, and you know he's quite a promising horse, got a great pedigree. And if we get a two-year-old win out of him uh, of any sort, I think it'll be a huge bonus to his uh, hopefully a future stud career. Best from your team, Anthony, for Saturday at Rose Hill. Uh, probably Fontalina.